Hey, you guys. I know, I know I've missed you guys too. I definitely felt like I had to come to you guys about this video because this is something that has been plaguing social media, or well, at least my timeline, for the longest time. And I felt like who better than to set the record straight. So if you clicked on this video, you know exactly what I'm going to be talking about today. Today, I am talking about femininity versus feminism. So let's get into it. If you have come to my channel and you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe to me. I can't even talk, y'all. <laughs> oh, I keep biting the side of my mouth. I don't know what's going on. But, anywho, if you are new to my channel, please, please, please like, share, and subscribe this video. Tell your friends to watch it. Tell your auntie to watch it. Tell whoever to watch it, honey. Please, 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 please let them know that your girl is here okay and take some notes grab you a notebook and take some notes because we're doing a little bit of shadow work today okay i got my notebook right here because i didn't want to miss anything i wrote all my points down and i really want you ladies to take something from this video please don't get offended because you might get checked but it is what it is your girl is here to help all of us grow including myself so let's just go ahead and get into it okay um so first and foremost what is feminism so feminism is a basically a movement now and also an ideology that women and men are created equal so i want to say that i definitely do believe in that ideology that men men and women are created equal in the sense that we should be treated equally so i do agree with that from that standpoint that men and women should be treated as equal beings women should not just be treated as quiet sex toys to do whatever a man wants whenever a man wants her to do it okay i definitely do believe women should be treated just as fairly and just as equally as men that goes from pay to whatever the case may be women should be treated equally as far as a working standpoint okay the reason why i say working standpoint is just and also a human being standpoint like treat me the way you want to be treated that's just the golden rule okay um now femininity what is femininity so i wrote down what i want you guys to think of my definition as okay so femininity is about feeling okay Femininity is about feeling, being able to receive, being able to release, allowing, and being a vulnerable being. That is what femininity is, okay? Being in a place to receive and release. Receive and release, okay? That is what femininity is, okay? Femininity is not a weakness. I repeat, it is not a weakness and that is what being a feminist has corrupted I'm just gonna put it out there if you don't like it you can get off my channel okay but I'm just being real toxic femininity has contributed to toxic masculinity and has gotten men to a place where men feel like they no longer want to be men they have taken being a feminist and using that as an excuse to corrupt their purpose. Men are to protect and provide for women. Women are supposed to allow them to. That is femininity. Femininity is allowing masculinity, okay? From your partner. So I just wanna put that out there, okay? I want to say that I am definitely a feminist in regards to women being a being able to be treated fairly and equally 
we are superheroes, okay? I honestly feel like women should be elevated a lot more than men, to be completely honest with you, because nobody on this earth would be here if it wasn't for a woman. I'm just saying. So, I don't understand why in the first place we had to fight for us to be considered equal when the truth is we should be considered the ones on top. But that's a video for another day. But I want to say that I want to talk to you ladies about being more feminine because the reason why I, it's not the whole reason, but I feel like the reason why men are not doing what they're supposed to do is because we are operating in our masculinity entirely too much, okay? So this video is to help you be more feminine, okay? Because you guys are confusing femininity with being a feminist. A feminist just believes that men and women should be treated equally. A feminine woman knows how to allow herself to operate in feminine energy. Now there are two types of energies, of course you guys already know. There is feminine energy and there is masculine energy. Masculine energy is more like take charge, we're gonna do this, hear me roar, testosterone, ah, you know what I'm saying? Femininity is I'm sitting back, I'm relaxing, I'm ready to receive what you offer me. I am allowing you to serve me. I am allowing you to see me in a vulnerable state. And I think as women, especially black women, we operate in masculinity entirely too much. I think single women operate in masculinity entirely too much because we don't have a choice. We don't have a man there. But what happens is there is an offset to the balance. This is gonna be a pretty lengthy video, so I really want you guys to grab your notebooks and write down what I'm saying. And also, if you have any questions about what I'm saying, please comment, please message me on one of my social medias if you're confused about something I said, because this video is definitely to help you. I wanna say first and foremost, being feminine has nothing to do with getting a man. This is going to be about serving your greater self and your greater good, because at the end of the day, you're a woman. So you need to know how to cater to this part of yourself. Whether you want to choose to operate more in the masculine energy, that's definitely your business, but you still need to know how to cater to the feminine energy. Now this, this video is not to help you get a man, but I promise you, with you implementing these things into your life, they're going to come, sis, because the truth of the matter is alpha men are attracted to women who know how to operate in their femininity. And that's just the thesis. So, number one, okay? Because I wrote this down. Number one is be present, okay? That's going to be very hard for some of you because you're addicted to your phones. I will tell you something. COVID has taught me not to be addicted to my phone at all. Y'all, it's times where my phone has died and I didn't care. It's times where I couldn't even find my phone and I was okay with that. I picked up a book, I read, I meditated, I prayed. Like, But rule number one to getting in touch with your femininity is being present. Be present, baby. And by being present, you allow yourself to connect to other people. You allow yourself to connect to yourself, okay? If your mind is always racing, if your mind is always thinking, if your mind is always scrolling on social media, you're not present. You're not being present, okay? Another way to help you be present is eye contact. Like, I know a lot of people, they get on me. They always tell me, like, they can't look me in my eyes. And honestly, that does have something to do with my spiritual gifts, which is, a, is for another video. But 
people always tell me they have a hard time looking me in my eyes because I, when I look people in their eyes, it opens up a piece of them that's vulnerable and they're not comfortable with giving me all of that. But I'm gonna look you in your eyes. If you're talking to me, I'm gonna look you in your eyes. I'm gonna make that connection with you. We're, we're gonna look at each other because if you're not looking at me, I don't wanna talk to you. I don't feel like I have your undivided attention and I want that because we're engaging with each other. I'm telling you ladies, eye contact. When you're on a date with someone, put your phone away. Put your phone away. Disconnect. Guys, if you're watching this because you want to be nosy, put your phone away. Put it away. Put your phone away and be engaged. Be present. Okay? Number two. Number two is be beautiful. Be beautiful and I'm not just talking about your looks because women always tend to focus on our looks and it's not all about that okay when I say be beautiful I mean from the inside out okay so that means if you got to do a little bit of shadow work if you got to figure out some of those demons you need to start that journey so you can be beautiful on the inside okay I'm going to give you an example of a woman who I feel is very feminine. Her name is Corinne Jinsu. Okay? Corinne is beautiful on the outside as well as inside. She radiates beauty. When you're happy on the inside, you radiate beauty. People are enchanted by you. They're attracted by you. They want to be near you. They just got to talk to you. Be beautiful. And whatever your definition of beautiful is, don't let anybody sway you from that. Be beautiful, okay? Be beautiful, baby. Number two, okay? And this is my favorite, okay? Number two, be mysterious, all right? Be mysterious. It's okay to not post everything on social media. It's okay for people to not know what you're doing, when you're doing it, how you're going to do it. It's, it's been plenty of times where I've literally went on trips and didn't post anything. I don't want nobody to track me. I don't want nobody to know what I'm doing every second of every day. Sometimes I'll go somewhere that's really neat and really cool and really fun, and I don't post it to the next day when I'm not even there anymore. Or maybe not even at all. It may just literally be just for my enjoyment because I'm living in the moment. So be mysterious, okay? It's okay to be private. And I know nowadays with social media, if women don't post everything, we start to feel a little overlooked, but it's okay. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, like, people love, like, people who are really interested in you or just driven by, most people are driven by curiosity. They love not knowing what you're doing. It makes you, it's so attractive. It is so attractive to not have everything out there about you. Like, you don't want to be one of those women who go on a date and the guy asks you, or even just in any of your relationships, like when people ask you what you've been up to, they literally can look on your Facebook and see what you up to. They can look on your Instagram and see what you up to. You, you don't want that. You don't want your entire life on the internet. Like have some privacy, have some mystery. People love saying they moving in silence, but they post everything. Like, that's not moving in silence. Like, you have no mystery about yourself. Have a little mystery. It's okay. Um, you know, I also wrote down, if people can track you, it invites negativity. You don't want all of that. You don't want negative people. You want positive people. I've noticed personally myself, I'm definitely becoming very good at being mysterious. <laughs> I'm very good at people not knowing what's going on with me 24 seven. Um, sometimes I'm a little too good at it because I forget my platforms and I neglect you guys. 
But the truth of the matter is you don't want people tracking you. If people can track you, it invites unwarranted negativity. And that is not good for your mental state. It's not. Which gets me into number three. Get into your feelings. Get into your feelings. I'm so sick. Of women feeling like they gotta be savages if you're a savage that's cool because you're not going against your natural energy you're not going against your natural self you may be a woman that really does operate more comfortably in your masculinity which means you may need to attract a man who's more comfortable in his feminine energy for you guys to work out but I'm here to tell you most women are not savages. Most women need to get into their feelings. Get into your feelings, baby. Get into them, okay? Now, it is okay to feel. It is okay to be vulnerable. I really, if you don't take nothing else from this video, you guys need to take the fact that vulnerability is not weakness it's not it is not weakness it's not okay get into your feelings all right it's okay to guard your heart but don't guard your heart to the point where the man you're dating is your opponent because he's not if you're looking to get married, you're looking for a partner. You guys are on a team. There's no need to go in it like it's you versus me. I remember I read a dating book one time and the dating book was saying like, you should look at your man as an opponent. Like who's gonna outsmart who? But the thing is, I don't even wanna attract that predatory energy. I don't even wanna attract somebody who's looking at me as something to conquer. Like I'm, I'm somebody he just got a bed. Like that's somebody who doesn't know himself. He doesn't know my worth. He doesn't even know his worth because he's out here trying to conquer women like, like we're games. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't do that. After a man, guard your heart. And after a man has showed you that he's really interested, maybe like on the sixth or seventh date, maybe even 10 if that's the number for you. But at some point in time, you've got to be vulnerable. Being a savage is all fun and games if you're not looking for anything serious. But if you're looking for something serious, cut that out. Cut that savage stuff out. Because whatever energy you putting out, that's the energy you're going to get back. And it's definitely not going to be feminine. It's probably going to be toxic masculinity. Because you're throwing out toxic femininity. I'm just going to be real with you. Number four, less is more, okay? Number four, less is more, okay? You want to do your best to appear natural. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm definitely a flamboyant girl, you know? I love colored weaves. As you can see, I got the Sub-Zero going on. I love diamonds. I love, I love it all. But best believe, baby, I love being natural too. I love being in my natural state. I love appearing, looking natural. I love it. And honestly, I think I'm appearing to look very natural even right now, even though my hair is blue. I don't have excessive makeup on. I don't have excessive jewelry. And don't get me wrong, if that's what you want to do that day, then girl, do it. You know, that's how you feel, then sis, do it. But I'm here to tell you, less is more. Even with like enhancements and surgeries, less is more. If you want bigger boobs, by all means, sis, get them because that's what you want. But please do your best to try to make them look like they grew out of your body. Like try to find a doctor that's going to build you the way you want to be built because the truth of the matter is you don't want to go around looking like a sex toy you don't want to go around looking like a sex doll because that's the energy you're going to attract an example of this would be the ant legs like b bbls are 
are hot. They've been hot. They've been hot for a while. I personally have had a BBL. But the crazy thing is, people can't tell unless I tell them that I had one. Because I got it to naturally fit my body. I got it to naturally fit me. You can't tell because it is proportionate to me. You don't want to walk around with the ant legs. And even if men still try to talk to you, it's not for the proper reasons. It's not. And you're, you're operating outside of your femininity because your root chakra is off because you're attracting the wrong sexual energy. And that is a lesson for another video. But I just wanted to put that out there, okay? It's your business if you want to look like a sex toy. It is. But just remember, if you're not pushing that agenda at that moment, you don't want to be pushing that agenda all the time. So less is more. Less is more. Okay? The next tip I have is you don't have to prove nothing to anyone other than yourself. Okay? Don't. Let me see what I put. <laughs> I put, don't put everything out there like a man. That's the, these are my notes. Don't put everything out there like a man. Like, don't, don't be excessive, basically. Like, don't, I hate when girls be on Instagram and I hate when dudes do this too. They be on Instagram and they showing everything they got. They just show, they just being boastful, showing everything they got like, you know, and, and in women's particular case, they always like, oh, I'm the baddest. I got this and I got that. And it's like, okay, that's fine. But who are you as a person? Are you kind? Are you loving? Are you gentle? Who, who are you? Who are you? And see that that's, what a lot of women lack. They don't know who they are to even operate in their feminine energy in the first place because you're too busy looking like the baddest. You're too busy looking like you got it together and not actually doing the work to get it together. So operating in your femininity is realizing that you don't have to prove anything to anyone because you are a perfect being the way that you are. The next step would be to be soft-spoken. Now, I'm going to tell you, I personally have an issue with this myself because I'm, I'm loud. I have a loud voice. My voice carries. Do I want it to carry all the time? Of course not. When I notice I'm getting loud, I do my best to check myself and bring it back down. But a lot of my friends will tell you, when I'm with my mate, when I'm with a guy that I'm interested in, I'm very soft-spoken. Like, it's to the point where they don't even know who I am <laughs> when I'm with my guy. And, and I had one girl tell me one time, she was like, you cold switching. You shouldn't be cold switching with your man. I'm not cold switching with my man. I just don't feel the need to operate in my masculinity when I'm with my man who operates in his masculinity very well. He allows me to be feminine. So therefore, I feel more comfortable being vulnerable with him and being soft-spoken. I don't have to be so strong in my tone. I don't have to have this vibrato or like, oh, this is Rita, hear me roar. roar. I don't have to do that with him because that's not my the place. I don't feel the need for that to be my place, so I don't do it. My man is there. He's there to protect me. I feel safe when he's there. I'm able to sit back, receive, release. Again, femininity is receiving, receiving, and releasing. He allows me to do that. I'm able to be soft-spoken at that point. So it's okay to be ratchet because I definitely have my moments when I'm ratchet and I'm rah, rah, rah because... Because it's a time and a place for that. But it's not always a time and place for that for your man. Like, I see a lot of women be like, oh, I beat my man up. That's not cute. Because if he hit you back, then you're going to be going around crying, saying that he beat you up. 
when you put your hands on him first. Keep your hands to yourself. That's not attractive. That's not cute. Like, at all. Um, I've seen women, when they out with their man, unless, you know, you guys have that type of relationship because everybody's relationship is different, but they'll say, they'll say he, they gonna beat him up. They'll cuss him out. And be real disrespectful and real nasty. I mean, mouth just be nasty. It be to the point where I'm glad that the man, not a woman, because had it been me, since you wouldn't have had that much bass in your voice talking to me like that. And so, you know, it's okay to learn to be soft-spoken. And being soft-spoken, again, comes with you being able to be vulnerable. That man may not be activating your femininity in a way to where you feel comfortable. For it to come out and if that's the case you need to stop talking to him because his masculinity is not matching up to the level that your femininity needs to come out okay the next step would be to have family values okay have some family values don't be scared to spend time with your family don't be scared to love someone other than yourself loving someone other than yourself gives you a great feeling because there is an exchange of energy you are loving on them you're catering to that nurturing part of yourself because whether you want to be a parent or not most women all women are nurturing in some way so it's okay to love on other people love on your friends love on your family give yourself that positive exchange of energy you need it i can't tell you how many times a day i tell my son i love him i do it randomly he is so used to it now he's just so used to me telling him i love him i do it all the time 24 7. my mom i'll just randomly ask her for a hug because i want to sit next to her i want to be near her like that's my baby that's my dog I love on her all day, every day. So get yourself some family values. That definitely will help your femininity as well. Another thing, another tip is to be yourself with your own personal style, baby. Okay? I don't know what's going on on Instagram and Twitter, but baby, let me tell you, all of these women on Instagram and Twitter, they are starting to get the same exact look. They are all doing their makeup the same way. They doing their hair the same way. They dressing the same way. It's okay to be original. It's okay. You don't gotta look like Sally Sue. Learn to be yourself. Be who you are and have your own personal style. If people think it's weird, then you just not for them. And that's just the real key key. You're not for them. And you don't need to embrace and be around nobody who you're not for. And that's just real. Don't look like the average IG girl. Don't. Be who you are. Now, I'm not saying if you are the average IG girl, if that's your taste, then sis, that's your taste. If that's who you are, then that's who you are. Don't be nothing, don't be nobody but who you are. But if you're not the average IG girl and you have your own values and your own taste and your own style, then sis, don't be afraid to wear that. Don't be afraid to be who you are. The world needs you. There's only one you. Also have your personal, you know, have your own personal style and dress for your shape dress for your shape because when you feel comfortable you ooze confidence so what i wear may not be the best thing for your shape and what you wear okay and that's just that's just being real now i know there are a lot of people out here which is gonna lead me into my next step there are a lot of people out here 
who feel like big girls shouldn't wear certain things and they shouldn't do this. And there's a lot of women who are very old-fashioned when it comes to femininity as well, saying that they feel like certain women should cover up certain things of themselves. And I'm here to tell you that at the end of the day, no matter what a woman wear, what a woman wears, she should be respected. So as a woman, you should stop pushing the agenda that if I'm not covered all the way up, I deserve less respect. Because that's definitely not true. Because part of embracing your femininity is going on to my next step, is being sexy. Being sexy is part of being a woman. That's why men love us. Because they can't look at each other and get what they need like how they get from us i mean some men can that's why they're homosexuals but heterosexual men they want you to be sexy they do so that leads me to my next step be sexy be sexy and don't let anyone over sexualize you because when other women tell you stuff like that or when other men tell you stuff like that they are over-sexualizing you, and that is none of your business. So you need to tell them they need to get on through. Now, I will say, dress for your shape. As a plus-size woman myself, I am not here for people not wearing shapewear. It don't matter whether you plus-size or you skinny. If you need shapewear, put it on. Okay? Okay? Because if I was a fashion designer and you bought my clothes and you put my clothes on and you got me, you got my outfit looking sloppy and looking a hot mess, I got a problem with you. Put, put some shape around. But wear what you want to wear. Wear what's fitting for you, what's fitting for your shape. One part of being more feminine is being sexy but also being classy. Be classy. And don't let anybody over-sexualize you. It's been plenty of times where I've taken pictures and someone else didn't like it. But at the end of the day, what you don't like has nothing to do with me. I felt beautiful in this picture. I felt confident in this picture. I loved it. You know, a good way to take pictures in sexy outfits, because Anybody that knows me knows I love form-fitting clothes. I love my shape. I love form-fitting clothes. A great way to not allow others to over-sexualize you and still be sexy is to smile. Smile in your photos. Smile. That's part of that step number, that step where we talked about being beautiful, radiating beauty from the inside out. Don't be afraid to smile. Smile and be like, yes, I know I'm sexy. I know I look good. I'm here to stay, baby. Smile, okay? Smile. The next step, which will also go to these women, this, these women who promote toxic femininity and also promote toxic masculinity at the same time because anytime you tell a woman she should dress like this, she should dress like that, it's, you're almost agreeing with men when they say, oh, she got raped because of what she had on. She got raped because she was asking for it. Um, the next step would be growing your femininity would be to mind your business. Learn how to mind your business, okay? Mind your business. Ultimately, do not be bothered. No matter what nobody says to you, no matter what rumors come out about you, learn to not be bothered. I've had so many rumors come out about me. Some stuff I didn't even know I did <laughs> I'll be honest with you, girl. Listen, I done had so many rumors put out about me. I done had so much stuff said about me, said to me. At the end of the day, that, that exchange between me and that person stayed our business. 
If I had to let them know about themselves, it said our business. It was no need for me to say anything else to them. I don't need to get on social media and blast everything. Learn to be unproblematic. That doesn't mean letting somebody walk over you. I'm not saying do that, but I'm saying learn to be unproblematic. If you're unproblematic, people tend to not believe the worst in you most of the time. Because let me tell you something, people, people don't forget the bad stuff you do. They don't. They don't forget the bad stuff that you do. So if you mind your business, Try to stay out of things that do not concern you. And even when things do concern you, you don't have to let the world in. You don't have to let the world know. Like, I'm going to tell you, like, I've had people come to me and tell me, like, oh, you always be in your feelings on the book. Or you always be in your feelings on Instagram and your stories. Let me tell you something. Nine times out of ten, when I'm posting something that seems like it's in my feelings, I'm in my bed. Fine. Or just rambling just talking because that's how I feel at the moment but trust and believe me my personal life is not it's not my personal life is not on social media social media can't tell you who I date social media can't tell you where I be at all the time I'm just sharing something that I agreed with or I write poetry. A lot of people don't know that about me. I might just write a poem that just came up in my heart at the moment. Like, again, that contributes to the mystery. People want to know what's going on. Why does she feel like this? Who is she talking about? If you're not a personal friend of, my, of, me, of mine, you'll never know. Or you'll know, like, I'm just talking. I ain't talking about nobody. <laughs> Learn to be unbothered. Learn to be un unproblematic. Okay? Which leads me to my next step. I hope y'all writing these down. I'm telling you, I got the steps today, baby. The next step would be learning to ask for help. I'm going to say it again to the ladies in the back. Learn to ask for help. 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 Learn to ask for help. There are certain things... That women weren't designed to do. Men were designed to do them. So let them. If you and a man in the car together and the, and the tire go flat, why not let him change it? Even if you do know how to change it, why not let him change it? Why you got to get out of the car? Let that man change that tire. I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, if you if you in the car and you need gas in the car, why not let him pump it? If you got a man and you need a bill to be paid and y'all been dating for a while, why not ask him to pay that bill? I know women have been trained that I, I can do it, I can do it on my own, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. And that's great, that's great that you can do it. But part of work, of operating in your femininity is you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it, sis. Let that man do it. Y'all confuse vulnerability with being weak. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be the damsel in distress. It's okay to let the man lead, it's okay. It is exhausting being strong all the time. I know because I used to do it and now I'm not doing it. I am in a position where I am receiving and releasing. If you want to do it for me, baby, do it. Do it. I will cheer you on while you do it. And here's another trick too, baby. Men love to be needed. Men are like children overgrown children they want their egos to be strokes they want to be praised and again this video is not about how to get a man but when you operate in your femininity at the level that you should you have no problem getting men 
You have no problem with men catering to you. I mean, that's just that's just me being me being completely honest and being real with y'all. Like, that's that's what it is. They love to be needed. They love that. Um, the next step, honey, because this is the second to the last one, honey. The next step in elevating your femininity, honey, is to be kind. Be kind to people. Be kind. Treat people the way you want to be treated. The key, I always tell people, the key to life is loving people without expecting anything in return. That's the key to life, is loving people without expecting anything in return. That's how you do it. That's, that's how you get through life. It's just you just love, 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 be kind. Women are natural nurturers, especially black women. Black women, you are mother supreme, baby. All life stemmed from you. It's okay to love on people. Love without expecting anything in return. Because if you love people without expecting anything in return, you don't have to worry about your feelings getting hurt as much. And then let me tell you something else too. Then now this ain't me telling you to let nobody run over you now. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying let nobody mistreat you. But I'm just saying we don't get our heart brokes. Our heart brokes. <laughs> we don't get our hearts broken by falling out of love with people or people breaking our heart. People break our expectations. So if you love people and don't expect anything. You'll save yourself a lot of heartache. And last, but definitely not least, honey, and operating in your femininity, be grateful. Be grateful for the chance to be a woman. Be grateful for the chance to experience releasing, releasing and receiving, okay? Be grateful for everything that you've ever received and say it. Thank you. Like, I had a client the other day get on me. She got on me about when people, she noticed when people gave me compliments, I always gave them some type of excuse as to why I didn't deserve the compliment. Like, she told me she loved my speaking voice. And I was like, yeah, I went to school. And I went on this whole rampage and she stopped me and she said, wait. She said, I want you to learn when somebody compliments you, to simply just say, thank you. You don't have to give me a backstory about the compliment. I gave you the compliment because I wanted to give you one. Your place is to simply just say, thank you. That's it. You don't have to give me an excuse as to why you don't deserve the compliment. You deserve it because I decided to give it to you. So simply just say, thank you. That's it, okay? Learn to take compliments and be sweet. Be sweet and be gentle and be loving. That goes back to having family values. That's how you increase being more loving, loving on people, loving on others, loving on someone other than yourself. Because I'm telling you, when you love on others other than yourself and you be grateful and you start saying thank you and you start appreciating the things that you have and appreciating who you are, it opens up so many doors for you. It does. And I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. I'm just gonna be real with you. No matter how smart a woman may be, and, and some of y'all may get mad that I'm saying this, but it's the truth. It, it's the truth. No matter how smart a woman may be, your power does not lie in your mind. It doesn't. Your power lies between your legs because you bring forth life. You bring forth life. And the sooner you realize that, now I'm not saying go out here and be a prostitute. I'm not saying go out here and trick for a dollar. That's not, the, that's not what I'm telling you to do. But what I am telling you is to be real with yourself and to be honest with yourself and embrace your femininity because at the end of the day, you are a woman. You're a woman. You're a woman. 
So get into it, sis. Get into it. That's my lesson for today. I hope you guys took notes. If you didn't take notes, you can always run it back, run it back, run it back, and get back into my lessons. If you got any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. As always, I love you guys and we'll see you in my next video. Love, peace, and chicken grease. And be feminine, baby. Be feminine and be beautiful.